All right, this is a screencast about silver. How far will silver go up? Now, for let me premise this by saying that I believe silver is hugely undervalued, that the market's rigged, and that I think silver is definitely going to go up. It's just I think it's going to go down before it goes up. So this is an article and a chart uh, coming from Przemyslav uh, Randomsky. Randomsky? Really? Seems to me that name is made up. Presume randomly? <laughs> I mean, really? That's uh, interesting. Anyway, you can see this is from Sunshine Profits. And uh, it's an editorial page here. It's floating around and people are using these scraps. I'm just talking about how far it's going to go up. Again, I want to say that I'm pretty confident that uh, silver is definitely undervalued and it's going to go up. But they, they, when they look at this chart, what happens every time? Look look at this part right here. Okay, so they, they talk about, oh, look at this, and look at this going up, and oh, look what happened over here, and then it goes up, and then look what happened over here, and then it goes up, and then look what happened over here, and then it goes up. So, of course, that's what's happened over here, and they have a chart. Where do they have a chart there? That shows they think it's from here. It's blue skies, nothing but blue skies and happy weather ahead. And I'm saying, there you go, right? That, oh, it's done all of this. This is a... Uh, micro of that macro that uh, it's doing this and then it's gonna, it's about to head up and look at all these rosy predictions for you know 75 what, 44 uh, 70s and 120 I think is the where did I see that coming up here okay could be true could be true I hope it's true I'd like it to be true I own quite a bit of silver that'd be great but what always happens is the bankers do not lose control the way the uh, these people predict they will. And there you go. Here are the, right there on the chart I was just looking at. Uh, 44, 50, 63, 77, 120 are their technicals for where they should go up. All right. Well, I'm going to have a slightly different uh, uh, prediction. I think that, that those things are entirely reasonable. However, when we get lots of volatility like this, look, notice how they always focus on this. When we get lots of volatility like this, then we get this. So we're having lots of volatility over here. This is a great possibility. And even if not, it seems it takes a while for it to we get the volatility and then it, it goes down and then it goes up. So we get the volatility, it goes down for a while and then it goes up. So I'm looking at 20s, not... Uh, high 20s by the way not like you know down in the low 20s or the teens or anything i'm looking for it to drop in just a little under 30 uh somewhere between this last uh where they took it down and here so somewhere in between there i think is reasonable for them to be taking it down what space of time well it's springtime and silver always goes down in the springtime because they've got the market rigged and they always take it down in the beginning of the year and then it goes up uh, later. You just look at the chart. It shows you. It's, it, when we have, uh, you know, the spring is usually when we have uh, the decreases, and uh, then later in the year is when it goes up, and then it goes back down again, and then, anyway, you get to see the cycles. That's not exactly true, because if you look at the chart, you can see that, but here, we, you know, we have uh, it coming back down again, and then and, and here, coming back down, look at the, where we are. This right, and then it go. Oh, here's where, here's a example where we It's not uh, not what I just said. It's actually going up in the springtime. Um, and here's another one where it's going. But look, it goes down first around Christmas time, and then it goes up. So I'm expecting that with all of this volatility and craziness that we've had going on here, where they ooh lost control of. Oh, take it back down again. Okay. Take it back down again. Oh, take it back down again. And this is 100% contrived. This market is 100% rigged. And anybody that tells you different isn't paying attention. So, they, I mean, they flooded the market with paper consistently to bring the prices down. They don't flood it with actual silver. Trying to get physical silver uh, in some of these cases impossible. I remember there was a time when I was in California with a skeptic. And we went around to shop after shop after shop in L.A., in Los Angeles, one of the largest cities in the, in the United States. And we couldn't find silver anywhere. Not, I mean, like an ounce here and two ounces there. No silver whatsoever. Oh, I've got, uh, I just happened to have, somebody came in because there was a shortage and they had some extra silver and they sold like 20 coins. 
20 ounces. That's all the guy had. Uh, other shops, nothing, not anything, not even silver dimes. And uh, yet the market, you know, we were down in the 20s at that time. Now uh, we're up here, woo, all the way $10 later, up into the 30s. And uh, guess what? Uh, they're predicting that it's going to take off. And I believe that it probably will take off this year or next. But is it, you know, it's inevitable that this happens, but is it imminent? I don't know. So again, don't get those terms confused. What's going to happen in the silver market is that silver is going to break free and so is gold. But when that happens, everything else is going to, I mean, all hell is going to break loose elsewhere also. So be careful what you ask for, because this isn't going to happen without there being some dollar crisis and some huge disruptions in the market and so forth, because that will be your sign that uh, the, f the paper money is worthless and silver is beginning to climb and you know gold and silver will become uh, more valuable and we got to talk about revision to mean a little bit and revision to mean just means that uh, right now we're what over 50 to 1 silver to gold ratio eventually it's going to revert to about 16 to 1 so either silver is going to go way up and gold is going to come way down you know where they meet each other or we have something like this and like that or gold is going to continue to go up, and silver is going to have to rise also to make that uh, revision to mean happen. But silver is, either way, silver is going up. There's, I mean, <laughs> gold isn't coming down far enough for silver to get back down, you know, under 10, as some people said. Uh, and I find that prediction utterly ridiculous. We're not, getting back down here is going to be very difficult. They, look at it, they tried over here to bring it down for a while, and then it just zoomed off. Look at that. Right? And so they could bring it down. I could see them bringing it down into the 20s, perhaps. They could get another crash like this going, and then it would zoom off. And these guys' predictions would become uh, much more reasonable. But right now, where we're at, we haven't come down that much. We haven't had a major crash. Uh, we haven't had, like, you know, that looks like it's, but when you look at the dollar amount, you look at the percentage amount, this is not huge. This is percentage, as a percentage of this number, this is a major crash. As a percentage of this number, eh, not so much. Percentage of this number, eh, still not so much. So, like I said, you got to take a look at uh, what has happened in the past and look at these things. What happens here? What happens here? Right? What happens here? It's, you know, sideways and down. Sideways and down. Sideways and really down. Sideways and down, right? Before it goes off. And there is no res this I don't believe that this area right here and this area right here are are uh, mirrors of each other. I'm pretty confident they're going to take it down further, and then it takes off. I I, I believe that it will definitely take off um, eventually, but not for a while, and not before they take it down further. That's the point of this video. I've talked too long. It should be very simple. I expect some more downward action before it goes up. And I have no prediction whatsoever for how high it goes up. These guys talking about, you know, 44, 50, 63, 77, one. I'd love to see it hit 120, but that's because I'm biased and I have silver. Um, it could be anywhere in between this. It could be less than this. They could get it up to, you know, they could uh, take it up to uh, 30s, high 30s. Hold it there for a long time, as in a year or two, before they let it before it goes off again, right? Because these guys have quite a few, as they've proven repeatedly, quite a few arrows in their quiver to try and make things, you know, uh, to keep their status quo and to keep the prices down. And again, when they finally run out of arrows and this thing and silver does take off, be careful what you ask for because the the that will be a huge change. And I have videos that I've talked about where, um, you know, it's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It'll just be the end of the FRN, the end of the currency. But when that happens, there's going to be a major, major disruption. And uh, things are going to be hard for a little while. But I don't believe it's going to be the end of the world. I don't believe we're going to, you know, no planes are going to run and we're going to be thrown back into the dark ages. And we're going to, you know, have no civilization without these bankers and these parasites that rig our markets and loan us money. This is not the case. When this breaks free, uh, some people are going to be doing very well, but the mass of people in the United States who own not a not so much as a silver dime are going to be in a world of hurt and a lot of pain. 
And when that happens, you can expect the police state to kick in. You can, right, too, because when there's unrest and so forth, they'll be able to, you know, start droning Americans. And, you know, the rule of law will go out the window. And, oh, I can, I just imagine all kinds of fun things happening because this is what happens every single time throughout the course of history. And then you have revolution, and then hopefully it's peaceful revolution. But anyway, then we have revolution and we return to rule of law and men and so forth because people get tired of being oppressed and you know having the government and you know men riding roughshod with guns over the populace and it's, again it's never this is just the way it's always been so when this thing takes off and we start getting into so i mean like because i think you know 120 is the bottom of where silver is going to be at one point eventually silver is going to get up there and I don't even know what the numbers are, but 120 is ridiculous. The thousand dollars, possible, right? Five and ten thousand dollar gold, and you know, twenty thousand dollar gold, entirely possible. Um, I don't know if it's probable, but it certainly is possible because when these manias happen, you know, it, we, it overcorrects both ways: too low, too high. So you know, I don't have any hard numbers, I, and I'd be foolish to try to make these kind of predictions. But what I am saying is. I expect it to go down a little further first before it takes off. And when it takes off, they they will, you know, they'll do these kind of things and stop it from taking off. They'll do these kind of things and bring it back down again to the best of their ability. And when they lose their ability to do this, th this is when you guys need to, you know, pay attention because then c ushers in uh, social unrest and because uh, think of all the things that have to happen for silver to take off like that. But it ushers in the social unrest, ushers in the police state, and uh, then hopefully, like I said, we will have some huge change, and we can affect this change peacefully. But the track record of the United States for peaceful change, not good. So prepare for what comes. Silver is definitely an, an excellent investment, an excellent way to prepare for what comes. Uh, when silver takes off, the other commodities will also take off. So there's, if you, you know, commodities traders, this is a great way to make money. Um, but again, just be careful what you ask for because what's coming is coming, and <laughs> there is there's no two ways around what's coming. So uh, be prepared for what comes. Uh, that's Captain Obvious stating the obvious here. <laughs> e pluribus unum.